found out last night, uh, apparently went to med school with Dr. Narav Pandya. So great. And so Pandya last night was also on Twitter saying, look, oh. th yeah, this guy is he's one of the absolute best. There are concussion experts all over the place. We know this is not the most fun subject, but I mean, come on. We are like, I I'm, I I'm, my chin is on the floor right now. Like, yeah, yeah, mine's we, not. No, mine's well, not. Okay, I'm not, but not yeah. not from the. I know where you're coming from. I'm which not is, surprised. I'm not surprised that the NFL yeah, exactly. doesn't care about people. You're upset. But like, what? I'm upset. What are we doing? Some do we do this till someone dies? Yes. Because by the yes. way, based on what we're hearing. That very well could have been the scenario last night. Like, all it would have taken was a little bit of swelling in the brainstem, second concussive blow in four days. This guy could have died. He absolutely could have died. So this is crazy because um, yesterday you and I had this conversation about Aaron Judge and Roger Maris Jr. Right. and how in 2022 we have decided – in the United States of America that we can just sort of ignore the idea of facts. We don't need to deal with facts. We can spin it the way that we want. We can watch the news network that we want. The I want to know, how long are the Dolphins going to go with this back injury thing? How long are we doing this? Because it would be akin to, I don't know, what do you consider yourself a real expert in? Like, just anything. What are joking you around. Uh, joking around. Yeah. All right. There are very <laughs> few people funnier than me on the planet. I mean, what if somebody is literally going to come to you and tell you when you're doing a stand-up comedy routine and, and be like, let me, let me explain to you what you actually mean uh, by that. This is a very serious situation. Uh, maybe that's not the best comp, but my point is we've got a line of the foremost concussion experts in the world. Right, right. And the Dolphins are going to continue to try to tell us this is a back injury? Yes. It's ludicrous. It's ludicrous, but to go back to yesterday and to go back to what you just were talking about, we're in a world now where facts are no longer accepted as being factual because we watched the game last weekend against Buffalo. Tua goes down and he takes a hard hit. And, okay, it's football. It's a hard hit. He gets up, and he jogs about five yards forward, and then he almost falls over because the wave of concussion actually hits. Because when you get a concussion, a lot of times, Mark, it doesn't hit you right away to where you're knocked out. You're knocked out cold. Tua, clearly, he got a blow to the head. He got up, and he felt okay for the first four or five steps. And then that impact of the head trauma hit him. The blood rushed in, and he almost he wobbled. Fainted. Yeah, he wobbled. it was more than just his a little legs, wobble. His legs totally buckled. He went he sideways. He collapsed. Yeah. So we all saw what we saw, and then this week where he gets another blow to the head. And by the way, that play in football where your head whiplashes down to the turf, we know that historically that that is a concussion. So a concussion following another concussion four days earlier, we also know how severe that is. Yet... In this world where we live, facts are no longer facts. And so Miami can spin it as a back injury last week. And now Mike McDaniel can say, well, you know, good thing it was only just a concussion. And you know what, Mark? <laughs> if they continue to tow that line and he goes through the five-day protocol, Tua could be able to play next Sunday. Oh, that's gross. I mean, no, and, and by the way, it. like... like, Think about it in terms I, of the way they're spinning it. I know a lot of you are waking up going, like, can we, can we take a step back? How is he? And I will say this, like, we're not going to, because of the nature of this, we're not going to get all of the details of this. They're not going to share with us. By the way, uh, spoiler alert, they're not already. They weren't being honest with us last week. But we can say this. He was released from the hospital last night. He did fly home with the team. They have put out this, the, the statement that he is resting comfortably. So the good news for me, because I'm not going to believe anything the NFL or the Dolphins say, but the good news for me is he was discharged from a hospital. So that's good because uh, these concussion experts are talking about how this could have gone last night. And if it was one of those really, really bad scenarios, I don't think they're going to let him out of the hospital. 
Um, and, and so that's great. The, the the news with Tua, I don't know about football. I don't know where this is going to go for week five or week eight, or even, quite frankly, his career. I have no idea where that's going to go, um, and, and we may never get straight answers on that. But I feel confident right now that, like, the really, really dangerous stuff that could have happened last night is not going to happen. So that's good. But – as soon as you get through that, you get back to the way that the Dolphins and the NFL have handled this. And I guess it becomes the bigger question. We have watched this repeatedly, and it doesn't matter the subject, okay? It can go from Deshaun Watson to Tua to whatever NFL scandal you want to talk about, and we know how it ends. Whatever, whatever, whatever. Rub some dirt on it. Cover it up. Make yeah. it go away. Get our remote control. Get back to the game on Sunday. And I'm not saying that'll be any different. We're 48 hours away from all sitting down for the Red Zone channel. And we'll do it again this weekend. But what will it take? What is that thing? Because there is going to be something. And I don't know if this is the one. Right? But there's there are lawsuit possibilities all the time when it comes to stuff like this. What is that thing that is going to finally lead the NFL to potentially have a heart? <laughs> I'm sorry. I don't mean to laugh because it's no, a serious you can. topic. I, but, but I know I, you, you have every right to laugh. So let's just say that a player dies, and nobody wants to see a player die. But let's just say a player dies on the field. That is not going to bring about change. What it's going to bring about is one week of every team in their home game. We'd like to take a moment of silence to remember player XYZ who died on the field. It was terrible. It was tragic. Goodell will come out. The NFL PA reps will come out. Everyone will come out. And then the news cycle will go around. And like you said, da, 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 da. Once we get back to another week of NFL football, we'll forget. We'll forget about everything that's happened before us. We forget about Greg Hardy. We forget about Ray Carruth. We forget about Ray Lewis, who, by the way, is a Hall of Famer, who may or may not have been complicit in a double homicide. We forget all these things. We all joke around about O.J. Simpson and his clever little Twitter feed, a guy who was probably a double murderer, yet now it's, probably. hey, Twitter world, and oh, O.J.'s fantasy. <laughs> yeah, we I, all forget I hate everything, that stuff. Mark. We I all forget stuff. everything. So you're right about the disgusting optics of what we saw, but come next week when two is back on the field. Oh, jeez. I, I don't it, think that'll happen, actually. I don't think well, he'll play next week. But, I mean, you know. it could happen. If this is his first concussion, according to them. Come on. If this is his first concussion, according to Miami and according to the NFL, and he can clear his concussion protocol in five days, he can play again. I don't, I don't disagree with anything you're saying. The power they hold is the love that we have. So that that is hard because we should not be asked to suddenly... Unlike what we like, right? We should not be asked because well, we to can't unlike what we like. I, I we mean, cannot unlike the and, NFL. And so we that's can't. the power they have. The power they have is that we can do whatever we want. We can continue to do the the decision that makes us the most money every single time. And we know you'll be there. And so if you're there, why should we change? So maybe it's not even when is the NFL going to have a heart, Dibs? Maybe it's this. Because if you are always making the decision that makes you the most money, I actually think you're riding that line right now, too. Because if this guy's career were to end, or if something even worse were to happen last night, as Andrew Brandt always says on Twitter, there will be lawyers. And the financial situation for the NFL may actually get bad if they continue to turn a blind eye to this because someone could actually take them for millions yeah. upon millions of dollars if you continue to run people out like this and go, yeah, back injury. Okay. But at the same time, Tua has some role in this on his own in that he, if he is concussed and he's really not fit to play, he can say, hey, I'm not fit to play. Now, I'm not putting this on him in any way, shape, or form. That's, I but know you're not, and that's in terms so tough. Of, in terms of the lawsuit and all the rest of it, you know, ultimately, an independent NFL concussion expert cleared him and said he doesn't have a concussion. And, well, now this time he has a concussion. And so, you know, football's a dangerous game and all the rest of it. The only way this ever gets impacted is if fans flat out say, I'm not watching this anymore 
because of what you do to these players. Yeah. And none of us is going to give up our fantasy league, our survivor pool, our pick 'em pool, our Sunday ritual, our tailgates. There's so much of this that is ingrained in our world. Oh. We all wait for week one in the NFL season. We love baseball. Baseball is fine. Baseball is like an old pair of socks. The NBA, nobody loves the NBA more than we do. Our Warriors are champions. But the NFL is about five notches above all the rest of it. We went to the Giants game last night. We still had the football game on my phone, sitting up against the chair in front of us. An out-of-market Thursday night I, I, game. I, I'm do- no, I had the under. But, but I mean, you know, Dol- 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 Dolphins and Bengals, you're exactly right. And I gave you the Cincinnati lock of the uh, Mr. I, Thursday I, night I, wins I went again. With you. Yeah. I went with you, and, and, and yes, you're absolutely right. And, and so here's the thing, because a few people on the YouTube chat have just said the same thing, which is where's Tua's responsibility in this? Look, that's really tough for a couple of reasons. Um, doctors are there many times to save us from ourselves. When you go get your physical, your doctor says, hey, here's what's going on inside your body that you don't even know, and here's what you need to protect yourself against. Uh, I've never had a concussion, knock on wood, thank goodness, but my understanding is you might have a concussion and not even know it. You might feel fine for certain periods of time. Plus, the culture of football calls for you, the player, to be tough, rub some dirt on it, and get out there. Every player wants to play. Justin Herbert, broken cartilage. I want to play. Fine, we'll shoot you up, get you on out there. A doctor's job is to help people protect themselves from themselves. So I'm not putting this on Tua. Not an NFL I'm doctor. Not, yeah. His job is to patch him up and get him out there. That's your job as an NFL doctor. <laughs>